Hey guys, it's been a long time and I figured that I would make a video today. Um, sitting out here in the yard, I'm all dirty because I've been working my ass off. We're still making this house a home and gracious has it been a project, but it's been a great one. I'm gonna turn this camera around and let you guys see some of the work I've done. Um, it's been a good, um, it's been a good couple months. I haven't been shooting my bow none. Um, it's just not in the cards right now. I mean, I shot maybe a month ago. Let me show you guys this awesome project I've been working on. So uh, now that I got a son, of course. Um, I've always wanted a big train set and all, so I decided to build a big one outside in the yard. So let me show you. And uh, let me back up. The whole build process is on my secondary channel, uh, Merida Excavation RC. It turned out awesome. Um, I did take up a segment of track because I'm burning some uh, pretty hot stuff right now. I'm burning a bunch of brush and a bunch of, of uh, pine. So the fire is pretty dang hot and it was getting pretty big. So I took some track up just to prevent any damage. But let's turn the camera around and look. People. So this has been my project. This is what my energy has been going toward. A massive O-scale outdoor train layout. And this thing is huge. I run two powered units here. I've got one powered unit here. Um, the loop normally goes all the way around with an, in, an interior loop and a yard. Like I said, if you want to see more videos on that and all of this interior work, um, that'll be on the, that's on the other channel. So, um, you guys remember whenever I built, when we bought this place, all this had big nasty vines and fence. I got all that cut today. Um, oh, we started, uh, I started trimming up that crepe myrtle that took a long time um i got up here on the roof cleaned out my gutters i blew my roof off with a blower and uh, i mean it doesn't look like a lot but there's a lot of work went on today i got a bunch of fence right here i got a guy coming to get all this is fence with some uh some brush in it but yeah guys check this out so normally the rail line comes through here on these boards but um we're going on vacation and not this week, but next. And when we get back from vacation, um, I'm going to build a retaining wall through here and, um, and have the railroad go through here. And then I will fill this interior up like through this side here with, with dirt or dirt and stone. And that way it'll kind of level everything up. Plus, uh, you know, it'll kind of recess the bricks into the ground but i needed to get some stuff cleaned up before i did that so check out this collection of train cars that i have acquired over the last couple of months and i've done all this work on the merit excavation rc channel and that channel has really picked up um it's almost at four thousand subscribers right now that's a channel for my son and man i'm telling you it's been a great great time um so I've also been selling on eBay and um, <clears throat> information on that one's on the other channel. We've been doing good on the, on the eBay stuff. I've been buying like uh, lots of trains from people who, uh, you know, like have them at their house that they don't want and stuff. And then I'll pick out like the cars that I want and then I'll break it out and I'll sell the engines and the cars and all that stuff individually. And, and I'm telling you that has really picked up as well. Um, so it's been a really busy couple of months since we bought the house i'm not gonna lie um this really spending the time and shooting the bow hasn't been um a major priority but it will be again soon um i'm just thankful to finally starting to get some yard now um with all that fence that was in here and and we had no parking so now i'll be able to park my car beside the house there the wife uses the carport but yeah, um, I figured you guys were deserving of an update of where I've been. I haven't, I haven't regularly posted them in a long time. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you guys remember the first video when we, when we bought this house, I mean, it, uh, I'm not going to say it was in bad shape, but it was really overgrown and I've really put in a lot of work to, uh, to make this house a home. So if you guys want to see some of this kind of content on this channel, I'll put some. I'm thinking about branching off the railroad here. Boom, coming out, 
maybe building a line through here, back in. You know, there's just so many possibilities to this, and it's just, it's so fun. It, it really is fun. For me, it is, because it's something I can do at home. You know, my, I can bring my son out here. He loves watching these trains run, and it's just a, it's a very, very good hobby. Um, it's, just, it's something I've always, whenever I was younger, probably uh, 10 or 11, maybe 12, no, 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 13, 14. For Christmas, I received a, a HO scale uh, train set. And of course, I was young and, and tore it up after, you know, about a year. But that was from tinkering with it and <laughs> testing all kind of stuff with it. And then mom and dad, I think, got rid of it. And then ever since then, I was like, one of these days I'm going to have a train. But we always lived in an apartment and the only really hobby I could do at the apartment was shoot my bow. And that was because we were right beside an archery range. Well, we were right beside Kiwi Bowman. But now, I mean, my brother's archery range is right down the road. And guys, um, we will have, at least on my brother's channel, unless we put some of it on this one, my brother and Dylan, which are um, two of the guys that's on the channel all the time, they are currently roughing it in Colorado for the next couple of weeks, going after elk. So we're talking like some straight up, John Dudley, Joe Rogan style, roughing it, camping, going after it. And uh, they're a lot braver than I am. So, yeah, guys, I just figured I'd give you an update. I miss all y'all. Um, if you guys want some archery content, let me know. If not, um, you know, I'll, I'll try to get it out whenever I can. But there's just really not any kind of content I can do for, say, other than, you know, just like 3D shooting, which 3D tournaments are over. Um, you know, the bow builds, those videos always done great, but it always required me to buy a bow. So this is the longest term I've gone without buying a bow. It's almost been right at a year since I got the Revic 6 snow in um, November. It'll be a year. So I haven't got a brand new bow in almost a full year. And I don't plan to. Um, if I did, I would sell the Revic 6 and get into one of the newer PSEs, which I would love to get a carbon PSE. That's that's really what I'd like to have is like a universal bow, not just a target bow. Something that I can hunt with and I can shoot. Of course, I could with my inline six, or yeah, sorry, my Revic 6, but who knows? But no, guys, um, I'm really content with what I have now. I love that bow. I shoot it good, and that's why I've kept it. But yeah, I cleaned out all, all this junk. My next project is going to be to cut this, uh, which technically is a state right away. They need to clean that crap up. See my donkey friends over there. Got me a little fireplace, patio built. I built all this, brought all this dirt in here, filled all this. I've hauled everything in my car. It's been an adventure. So check out Merritt Excavation RC. See what we've been going, you know, what we've been doing over there in uh, regards to this project but yeah guys i just wanted y'all to uh to know where i've been and um and letting y'all see what's going on